announce it again. Why not just, you know, play it? Um, I'm going to talk about Blade Master's Transcendence a little bit after playing around with it. I'm going to say his Transcendence is not as bad as people make it out to be. Um, this, the Flash thing, the damage on it is fucking ridiculous. But it, it, it doesn't, the hitbox is awkward as shit. So it's it's kind of like a critical dive, but more eh. And critical dive has a, a mana reduction trait. His passive is one of the greatest things. I one of my main complaints. I love how fast Blade Master already already was. Right? They made him actually. He outspeeds Aura. He's more agile now. He's the most agile and the fastest character in the game. What's the difference, you ask? Fast is in attack speed. He he attacks the he has the lowest frame data for attacks and stuff. Now he moves he can move faster than everyone else, and that's great because I love fast paced classes. Um I love it. And knockdown recovery speed increase. It's awkward. I originally thought it was supposed to be like Wind Sneaker or SD's thing where they you know, fell on the ground immediately, got back. I thought that was supposed to be it, but it's it's just he falls on the ground, then rolls back up really fast. I don't get that, but I mean, it affects the get up attack, which is nice. So that's cool. Um, okay, I talked about this fucking thing. This thing does way too much damage, but I will excuse it because it makes up for Flash's shit. Hitbox, shitbox, as we as I call it. Flat or rend, it, it does so much damage. And for okay, this costs twenty mana. This costs thirty. How much does cut tendon do? Now adding these two together, five hundred four, and nineteen hundred. So that's roughly two thousand four hundred damage together. And then. How much does Cut Tendon do? Cut Tendon is m 10 less mana, and it does not even half of what that combo does. Let's take Flame Sword, one of the most, one, what used to be one of the most broken actives in the game. I stopped using it because they didn't nerf the damage on it. It's not too nerfed. It just doesn't... It feeds too much mana because it's a weird multi-hitting attack. And for 30 mana, it's not really worth it to give that much mana. But regardless, it doesn't even do that much damage. Uh, finishing Slash, 172 times 6. Yeah, it's nothing. This active is busted as fuck. And they're probably going to put a modifier on it. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean... I get that Blade Master's always been in a good position because he's more of a uh, he's fast paced because he doesn't use skills. We're gonna reset the key real fast. He doesn't use skills, he uses actives mostly. Like the only skills he can really use is Flash, Giga Drive, and Wolf Fang. Berserker Blade is like a eh, it's kind of just a finisher. And it's they smacked another damage modifier on it. The thing's ugh, it's not that good. Um, you're better off on it, like, to be completely fair, I only use this thing in sparring, and I just carry it around in case I need a quick burst, or I need to hook someone above me, so, bloody XL, that's, uh, you know, that's self-explanatory, funny thing is, this combo does almost as much damage as the bloody XL itself, registration will be closed in 9 minutes for you, okay, so, what, I'm just going to save the rest of the episode just talking about Blade Master's Transcendence a bit, I guess. Because I don't really... I don't really know how to explain this, per se. Because I can't queue. I'm not finding any matches, so we might as well just talk. Um, Alright, so this, this Awaken 1 passive, everyone has this, so there's nothing really to explain. It's just a steroid that everyone fucking has. You know, base HP, physical damage, power. You know, it's it's nice. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to go over and do a quick... You know what? This could be like a mid-video of the... Um, of the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The, 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 the PvP sparring video? I may, I may make this into a guide video. Or like...
like a guide part. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly go over what skills are good to use in PvP or not. And, you know, just for just for fun since we're waiting nine years for this to load and stuff. Um, maximum cannon. This thing in the right hands destroys people. It is ridiculous. You guys have probably seen me in the last episode using it to hold an RF down. When he, he couldn't get up. He could not get up. Shadow Step, you, you can't run. You cannot run Raven without Shadow Step, I'm telling you right now. It is almost impossible because this is his bread and butter. This is what makes him fast. Cannon Blade, eh, don't need it. Gives too much mana. It's a push. Power Assault, mm. Uh, I've seen some people use this. Sometimes it does a ton of, ton of... Can't speak. Sometimes it does a ton of damage. Sometimes it doesn't. It honestly depends on your whole gear. If you want to use it to troll the fuck out of people, go right ahead. Flame Sword. Okay, we're going to start getting into the part where it comes down to preference. Because a lot of these skills are preference. But Flame Sword is a very high damaging very DOT based active I'm just gonna cancel this we're gonna talk very strong however it gives it gives the enemy too much mana which is why I stopped using it because it's not cheat well mm, it's it's kind of in the middle of how wait this is for the damage it does it's not cheap because they slapped the a modifier on it so it doesn't do that much damage as it did and it feeds a lot of mana however some idiots, okay, no offense to you, but there is zero reason to put a super arm effect on this unless you unless you don't use, unless you're not good in uh, neutral. However, attack power increased to 120%. This thing does ridiculous damage. It's annoying of how much damage this thing does. Uh, finishing Slash, it's, a, it's an active, of course. It's a catch. It's a catch and an active. It's weird. Um... I almost never use this thing. I just have it on hand for the sake of having it, I guess. So, in my case, I probably should use the, uh, the, uh, yeah. I should probably use the def defense ignore, because I don't really use it apart from, you know, occasionally. Like, very rarely. Shockwave divider, not really a reason to use this thing at all. It's kind of shit. And I mean, the, the enhanced skill is really nice. But the chances of you getting someone in a position where you can chuck this at them and do damage, you're better off just using Bloody Axel or the other version of it. So it's ridiculous. Um, fine swordsmanship, you all know what this does. Just attack speed, you know. Got your focus strength, just Raven's passive. Seven burst, don't use this thing ever. It's cool, it looks nice, but it's just throwing a meatball at someone. Like cannon blade, it's like it's an even bigger meatball. It's like a black hole meatball. Um, Berserker blade. I can recommend this thing for certain situations. I have it. In fact, I forgot to mention I use this thing in case of NPCs. That's why I use this thing as well. So, yeah, there's that. So use this as you will. I wouldn't. I would say keep this on hand because you never know when you're gonna need it. Maybe some IPs tanking too much. You can break his armor. It's it's convenient. Um. Fatal Wound, I would recommend this because it's very cheap, like 20 mana, It's that's really cheap. You start off the game with 20 mana, so you, can, you almost always have this on hand. The cooldown time is 2 seconds, which is ridiculously short for an active of that potential. And the bleed duration is really long. Now, this thing got nerfed pretty hard with the enhancement, or the trait revamp on it, so... Upon activation, a 33% chance cooldown is reduced to 0%. I don't use this because there is zero times where you're going to mash this twice, and two seconds is short enough where you can press your Z a few times and get it. So there's that. Upon activation, at least 33% chance gain 100% of the mana use. I use this because if I can hit this, get my mana back, and use this, I'm only using 10 mana. Think about that. I'm doing more damage than a bloody fucking Axel, and I'm only using 10 mana. Think about that. That is why this active is so ridiculous. If I get that proc, it's 10 mana to chunk someone's HP. I'll explain why my my issues with BM. He doesn't have... Okay, BM is a middle-of-the-road kind of character, kind of like LK, kind of like RS. 
And I know there's gonna be controversy. Oh, but but Sora, he he's he's so over. He he's he's not. He's just he does a lot of damage. And he, usually people think that people do who do a lot of damage are overpowered. You get, there's a lot of other factors than just damage. Diabolic Esper back in season three. He didn't do that much damage compared to other people, yet he was top tier. Why? Because he has a ridiculous amount of catches, his hitboxes are atrociously disjointed as fuck, and he's powerful. Blademaster doesn't really have many disjointed ass hitbox, I guess, other than Fatal Wound having a huge vertical, vertical, vert yeah, vertical hitbox. So, I can go on and on, I'll go on about that later. Uh, Armor Crash. Uh... Some people don't use this. I use it personally because it's just, you know, convenient. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of armor destruction. So, Blade Master is good against any person who lacks in physical. So, IP and LK are monsters to BM because they tank so much. Alright, next skill. And also, don't use this. This sucks. Use this. It does a lot of damage. This. Hypersonic Stab. Don't... I would not recommend using this. Because the hitbox is sm... This hitbox of this 300 mana skill is smaller than this active. Think about that. That's why you shouldn't use it. That's... That alone. And it doesn't... It's kind of... Eh. Bloody XL. Um... If you play conservative... Con I can't speak today... If you use Bloody XL and play conservatively like I do, like, there are times... It depends on the opponent in which I play conservatively, where if I need to keep them in one place, I will save up for Bloody XL because Cut Tendon is just shit now. So, you know, he can't, he can't hold people in place like he used to. Anyway, if I need to hold people in place... I will save up for Bloody XL and use it. It's a really good finisher. It's kind of like Blade Master's version of Armageddon Blade. Except he's, uh, he's more limited because he doesn't have the range. He can't play safe. He has to hit them. So, anyway. Next skill, Sonic Slash. I wouldn't recommend using this. Sometimes I like to use it because it's nice. But it leaves you... You don't move very far with it. And its hitbox is eh. And it... There's not much good about it compared to finishing slash, but that's just me. And do not people who don't use this cr this critical stat ever. It doesn't. It's it's not worth it. Anyway, we gotta get ready for this soon. Blade mastery. Uh, I'm gonna. All right, let's register. Okay, where are you gonna start this? Uh, blade mastery. You know, critical. Uh. All right, we're going to start this soon. So I'm going to skip I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to edit this into a video and we're going to come back to this later. Anyway, let's get started. Um Is that it? We don't Oh, 24 seconds. Okay. I think I'm going to either make this a separate video or I'm just going to chunk this into the other video. Who knows? Ooh, this will be fun. Let's see who we meet today. I'm gonna go all, all over all this other shit later. All right, here we go. Tournament table. Oh, oh, this is cool. Ooh, the. This is actually cool. Automatically record tournament. That's cool. Waiting for Hamel One League Round One. Oh shit! Don't tell me I fucked up already. Was I supposed to... Oh, was I supposed to go in the tournament? Was I supposed to go in a separate channel? Oops. I wonder if I fucked up. Oh, starting in four minutes. Okay. Cool. Alright, since we have another four minutes, I guess I'll go over this. Um, okay, where did we leave off? We left off at Victor's Dignity. Attack power increased 15%. Uh... I don't... Reduces knockdown rate of... It. This is a really strong passive. Not many people go over it, but... If your HP is over them, you get a lot more damage and stuff. Which is... It helps BM, because BM is a snowball-y type character. If BM wins early, he, he can wreck you for the rest of the match. If BM loses early, then he's screwed. 
Um, but yeah, he's a very, he's like a reverse, uh, I don't know how to explain it. He's like a, he used to have a passive that let him do more damage if he was hurt, so it was cool. Giga Drive Limiter, definitely use this. No reason to not use this now. They buffed it, so it's really strong for catching. It has a flip. It's low mana. It's It gives you a ton of damage. There's zero reason not to use this. Shockwave. Mm. Unless you're planning on finishing with this, zero, not really a reason to use it. Okay, we got three minutes. Not really a reason to use it. And it's just, eh. it's good for mana, but... Cut 10. My issue with Cut 10 is it used to be good. It used to be affected by attack speed. Now it it's slow. It's too slow and it doesn't connect and the injury duration is a lie. It is not 5 seconds. It is 2 seconds. And the, if you want to use this efficiently, you have to predict when your knockdown values are happening. If you know knockdown values well, go nuts on this thing. If you can count KD, go nuts. But I would not recommend it. Wolf Fang, zero reason not to use this. Again, it's one of his best catching tools. Zero reason. And of course, re resource consumption. Um, winning strategy. Gain a buff combo. Yeah, this this is what makes BM very snowbally. Again, he it, it's just he, he it's good for him. Very good. Evac. The thing ever. Okay, we're gonna talk about this. Activation chance seven percent. Really low. That's you guys don't understand how low that is. So people who play high DPS classes, this is, this seems high, right? It seems like it's happening all the time. No, that's actually really low. 45 seconds. Matches typically last around 1 minute, 30 seconds to 2 minutes. So he is not going to be using this often. So, and many of the time, it happens out of completely random where it's not benefiting him. So it's, it's something not, it's kind of just a noob, newbie slayer. But if you're good at the game and you know how to play it, it's it's shit. It you can predict it easily. All right, stream blade. Yeah, hyperactive in PvP. Why? There's not really a reason to use that. All right, and we talked about all this crap down here. So next time we're gonna talk about his final passive, which is counter dive. At least I think it was gonna be called and shoot up genocide. So, anyway, let's get on to the uh, tournament. Which is 1 minute 12 seconds. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording here. And we are going to start this once uh, once it's ready. So if you would like to see this tournament, go to part 2. Part 3. Because I forgot part 2 is going to be the guide. Or something. I don't, I don't know.